How's it going? Um, what I'm gonna do here is show you how I have a Hummingbird Helix 7 set up for ice fishing. Main thing you need is your ice transducer. This is a 9, 9 by 20 i or 9 20 i. I'll put a link to the transducer in the description. Um, so basically what I got going on here is a Vexar mount. This is a Vexar handle holding system. Um, ironically, these, you know, the width between the two here are the same on the Hummingbird. So basically I took the Vexar uh, head unit off and the Hummingbird went right in there and I bolted it on, just twist the twist in and I was like, this is crazy. Um, so then what I did is on the boat side of things, I cut my power wire from the back of this to the boat about two feet or a foot and a half, I cut that. And come springtime, I'll just place the positive and negative back together for um, the power. And then another question I had, or somebody had for me was how I set my light up on the bottom here. So when I'm out fishing, I can just uh, flick, flick this light on and it's super bright. Um, literally, it was like a dollar 90 off of eBay. There's like a two pack of them. They're like um, fog lights for cars or something like that. They're like stupid cheap. Um, I bought like a 10 pack of them. <clears throat> so, and then what I did on the back is basically I just put a double connector on each power. So I have a double connector there with one for the light, one for the um, hummingbird, and then same on the negative terminal. And basically that's it. I mean, everything, everything works awesome. It has the it has the only thing about it, it takes like three, four seconds to turn on, and then it's gonna give you your instant depth when you're going. The nice thing about it is see how see how glary it is here. The cool thing about this, say your your Vexar is going at night, this is the one thing you can't do um, with a Vexar system, but you can actually turn your backlighting down. See how a lot better that looks. Um, no, it's not touch screen. <laughs> um, but that's how that works, and you can probably Hear the transducer. It's pretty cool how that works. <clears throat> um, basically, if you've never even seen one of these before, it's shooting a, a sonar signal down, and anything that interferes with it, it's going to leave a mark on the screen. Now, it doesn't work in the air, it works in the water. I mean, sometimes you can get it to read like a foot or something. Um, but that's how that system works. And also, big announcement coming out here. I, uh, recently got something that is going to be in one of my next videos here and it's going to be awesome so stay tuned for that i cannot wait it's 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 going to be crazy and you'll see why so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching please subscribe we'll see you next time